Welcome to ISU Basketball here on Comcast. Kurt Pegler, Bob Morris with you. And tonight, Bob, our viewers will see two of the best players in the Missouri Valley Conference. When you start your conversation with Drake, you've got to talk about Josh Young. No question about it, Kurt. The young man led him last year in scoring. He's doing that again this year. He's a leader in many ways. He's scoring right now at 17 and a half points a game. He's the second leading scorer in the Missouri Valley Conference. He's giving him four and a half rebounds a game. He can get hot at any time and just become absolutely explosive on the offensive end. He is what great Bulldog basketball is all about. He is indeed explosive, as is Osiris Eldridge, the preseason player of the year in the conference on the other side of the coin for the Redbirds. Well, locally, everybody here knows of the accolades and accomplishments of Osiris Eldridge. He was the preseason pick to be the player of the year. Two years ago, he was freshman player of the year. If he would accomplish that goal this year at the end of the year and be the player of the year, only two, he would be only the second player in the history of the Missouri Valley Conference that would accomplish that. He is a great player, but he does have a challenge tonight to take on Josh Young and the rest of the Bulldogs from Drake. It's the top scoring team in the Valley in ISU and the top defensive team in the Valley in Drake. Something's got to give. Stay tuned. The opening tip is up next here on Comcast. Happy New Year! Our goal, a Honda in every garage. Stop by Brabacher Honda in Bloomington. Honda just opened a new plant building Civic. They are reliable and fun to drive. All Hondas are New Year priced. Better hurry. <laughs> Honda Finance has fleets along with low rates and extended terms. Honda certified use the Cord, Pilot, Odyssey, Civic, and CRD. Other makes have car factory ports too. Happy New Year! Our goal, a Honda in every garage. Stop by Brabacher Honda in Bloomington. <laughs> These are unique money times. Low fixed rates, taxes, risk, all make people uneasy. Traditional methods of saving and investing haven't worked as well recently. What should you do with your 401ks and your IRAs? There are investment alternatives that guarantee principal, give you the upside potential of the market, and shelter everything from current taxes. If safety and growth are important to you, call us to find out about these alternatives. For 29 years at the Cagle Financial Center, we've been providing safe and sound financial guidance. Let's talk and make sure your money's safe. tickets for the January 24th game when the Redbirds battle SIU at Redbird Arena at 4.05 p.m. Tonight's Illinois State Basketball Action is brought to you by McDonald's. Critical Missouri Valley Conference basketball coming your way here on Comcast. The Drake Bulldogs at 13 and 4, 4 and 1 in the conference, a half a game out of first, taking on the Illinois State Redbirds at 14 and 2, and 3 and 2 in the league. Let's take a look at the starting fives for this rematch of the Missouri Valley Conference title game from last season. The Bulldogs have started the same five that they have all season long. This will be the 18th consecutive game in which Brent Heemskirk, Josh Young, Jonathan Cox, Adam Templeton. And Craig Stanley have started. Stanley is the guy who has had to replace Adam Emenaker, last year's Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year. We mentioned Josh Young. Brent Heemskirk is really coming on strong in his senior season. Cox is the former walk-on from suburban Chicago who's played himself into an all-conference season. And Adam Templeton, new to the starting five this year, he is a junior from Rapid City, South Dakota. Illinois State has Osiris Eldridge, Emmanuel Holloway, Lloyd Phillips, Champa Gucci, and Dima Odiakosa pretty much the five that Tim Jankovic has been riding for the first 16 games of this basketball season. New coach at Drake, the Bulldogs, have Mark Phelps calling the shots now. He replaced Keno Davis, who parlayed that 28-5 season, NCAA birth season, into a job at Providence in the Big East. And, of course, the Redbirds are coached by Tim Jankovic in his second season at 39-12. and 12. So, Bob, let's talk about the keys to tonight's game. The Redbirds back home for the first time in a week and a half, and it was a rough road trip. They lost in Peoria to Bradley. They lost in Terre Haute in overtime to Indiana State. They're glad to be back home where they're 8 No, What are the keys for tonight's basketball game? Well, I think the major, major keys to tonight's game comes down to three different things. I think... The Redbirds have to see to it that they balance out the boards. 
the one thing that you cannot allow Drake to do is to get second chance opportunities. They have such terrific shooters that if they get second chances and they kick it back out, they're going to kill you with that outside shot that they can deliver a major league blow to you. One and done. Keep them balanced on the board. Second thing, patience is a virtue. You, the ISU has to have patience against the zone that they're going to see from the very beginning to the very end from Drake Bulldog. They love to zone you. They'll throw a little three-quarter court press on you, and then they'll play a 3-2 matchup zone. You have to be patient. They want you to shoot quickly, and that's just not what you... If you do, you've played right into their scheme. You've got to be patient, pick and choose, but you got to penetrate either off the dribble or off a pass. Third key, you've got to toe the line. You've got to keep Drake off the free throw line. You have to be very disciplined in your defense, but don't foul them. They shoot 75% from the foul line as a team, and they have the conference leading free throw shooter in Josh Young at 90%. So keep them off the line. The other thing that I don't have listed tonight, but I think it's probably as important as anything, the birds have to play healthy. They've been going through a real bout with the flu. The, the flu bug has ran its way through through this almost entire squad with another young man, freshman Jeremy Robinson, is out tonight completely, not even in the arena. And everybody has had it to some degree or the other. If they're healthy, which we keep our fingers crossed, we think they are, I think the level of energy that they'll bring to the game is what's going to be needed to take on Drake tonight. Well, it seems like everybody in Central Illinois has had a bout with the flu in the last 10 days, and we know that the wind chills are way below zero tonight. So, folks, be safe, stay inside, and watch Missouri Valley Conference basketball tonight. We will bring you what we think is going to be a very hotly contested game to warm up this cold January evening. The all-time series between the Redbirds and the Drake Bulldogs. Illinois State leads at 43-25. However, Drake has had the upper hand in the last two years. Drake has won four of the last five meetings between the two schools, including all three games last year, both games in the regular season in which Drake erased double-digit deficits to win, and, of course, the 30-point victory over the Redbirds in a lopsided Missouri Valley Conference title game victory in St. Louis. It was that victory that gave Drake its first NCAA tournament berth since 1971, and that loss likely which knocked the Redbirds off of the bubble and into the NIT. Coach, I know, uh, excuse me, Kurt, I know that Coach Jankovic answered a question as politically correct as he should and would always and ask if those three games from a year ago would serve as any motivation tonight. He said, oh, no, no, new year, new players, turn the page. Well, that's what he should say, but I know better. They are thinking and remembering about last year. They did not like what happened to them three different times last year. The first two times, as you said, giving up double-digit leads in the second half. And then the third game, an embarrassing loss. No, no other way to describe it. A 30-point loss in a championship title match is an embarrassing loss. The Redbirds have been talking about that throughout this week of practice. I've heard the players talk about it. I've heard the coaches talk about it. They're not happy. They're coming in, I think, with a chip on their shoulder. The officials working tonight's Missouri Valley Conference game, Paul Jansen, Jerry Pollard, Randy Heimerman. Drake is in its road blue uniforms with white trim, Illinois State in the home whites with red trim, and the Redbirds control the opening tip, and we are underway. Missouri Valley Conference basketball here on Comcast. The Redbirds at 3-2 and two in the league, 14-2 and two overall. The Bulldogs at 4-1 and one in the league, 13-4 and four overall. Pass intended for Champ Aguchi went off the backboard. A misfire there from Lloyd Phillips. Well, they did. They tried to do a back screen and send uh, Lloyd Phillips up with an alley oop pass to Champ Aguchi, and it didn't quite didn't quite happen. Short shot that time is missed from Heemskirk and cleared by the birds. Here comes Cyrus Eldridge, who on Saturday was about 60% playing with the flu in Terre Haute, held to just seven points. Uh, against the Sycamores, but from all accounts is somewhat back to normal, at least tonight. Well, I think tonight a healthy Redbird is a happy Redbird tonight. The Redbird's a little sloppy with the basketball on that trip on the floor and a steal. Here comes Young now. Two possessions, two turnovers. I think sometimes when you get all juiced up about an, a particular opponent, you try so hard that you, you don't settle into your, your typical game, and, and I think that's what's happened to the birds early here. They're a little too excited, over anxious. Here's Young, he's guarded by Holloway, gets a screen, pump fake, fadeaway jumper is good. 
But that young man can light it up from just about anywhere. He Once he crosses half court, he's pretty much in range. Well, anybody that either witnessed the game or saw replays of the game that they came, when they came here last year, he was shooting that thing from just unbelievable distance. I mean, it, it would have been unreal to start guarding somebody from there. And he just unloading on us. Nice move by Dima Odiakosa, who gets more confidence, which each passing game has played extremely well in the last three games for the Redbirds. I think that might be a matchup we want to watch. We talk about Young and, and Osiris as a matchup, but I think the big fella in the middle could be a real factor in this game. Templeton knocks down the three. He shoots the three at 42%, and kept that Drake offense. Spread the floor, put two or three guys at the three-point arc, and who's ever got the hot hand, shoot it. That's right. And, and they, they never stop pulling the trigger. They always figure that the next shot's going down. Yeah, even if they miss, miss the first 15, they're probably going to shoot a 16th foot real way, right away. Odia Kosa backed himself down low, but couldn't finish. Great entry pass right there from Lloyd Phillips. Dima has to finish off on those. Templeton again, he works on Eldridge. He's gonna get it from the corner. He'll try a second three and miss that one. Good block out. The birds, I think, have to control the board. Have to be able to take control of them throughout the game. Gucci tried to slip that pass down low to Dima Odiakosa. Ball's on the floor. And who's going to get possession of it? It's going to go to the Redbirds. Illinois State, obviously, and these trips down the floor, Bob, they have made a major emphasis in getting the ball inside to Dima Odiakosa. No question about it. Right there, we saw Champ shot fake, get his two dribble inside penetration, and then try to bounce pass it over to uh, Dima. And I think Dima just wasn't ready to handle the ball at that point in time. He was expecting a shot from Champ. College basketball is a game of matchups, and the Redbirds think that they've got a pretty good matchup in the paint. And that's the reason why they're wearing out a path inside to Dima. At least initially. Phillips penetrates, little floater. Rimmed out, couldn't get it. Got his own rebound and was fouled. The little fella stuck with it. Made a good, good penetrating dribble out of it. Made a nice little floater into the into the rim. As we see the replay coming here, great choice of shots, no question about it. And then he stuck with it. I like seeing that. Osiris Eldridge, tough three. Fade away, no good. Champa Gushi comes away with the loose ball. Birds hitting the boards hard early. A three from Champ is no good. Long rebound. It's Holloway. He can't oh get it to my. go. The Redbirds have crashed the boards, but they just can't get the foul to go. They're doing all the right things, but just isn't going in at the moment. Here's Young with Holloway on him immediately. Stanley, the junior college transfer from Collin County Community College in Texas, penetrates. It's a round blow, but it's blocked by Odia Tosa. There comes the big fella. He can't only be a factor on offense, he can be on defense, too. Pump fake by Holloway. Missed shot. Ball on the floor. Tried to save by Osiris Eldridge, but it's out of bounds and it's going to go to Drake. And we've got a timeout on the floor. We're just in the way. The Bulldogs lead the Redbirds 5-2. Back with more from Normal in a minute. This is ISU Basketball on Comcast. The Alamo 2 has the most used textbooks on campus, and that saves you money. Alamo 2 has a helpful staff to assist students in finding their books. Alamo 2 has the largest selection of ISU merchandise in Bloomington Normal. January 10th through 16th, all ISU apparel and ISU gifts are 25% off, plus a great selection of school supplies. Check out the Alamo's extended hours for your convenience. Remember, the Alamo 2 has the most used textbooks on campus, and that saves you money. For the royal treatment you deserve, visit Empire Spa, a true day spa. Be proactive with your health and wellness. Make your reservation to be our guest for a single treatment or enjoy a full day of services. You don't have to travel to experience a true day spa. Let us be your destination. Try our spa spectacular with a tropical body wrap. This will repair, smooth, and rejuvenate your skin. Empire Spa, for the royal treatment you deserve. 1234 East Empire in Bloomington, 820-1600. When your doctor recommends GI, Dr. Mutter and Dr. Kuspa provide you with state-of-the-art advances in GI technology. Now available, capsule endoscopy. In capsule endoscopy, a patient swallows a camera pill with its own power and light source. It takes tens of thousands of photos as it travels through the body. These pictures help us determine the cause of many gastric and other problems without invasive procedure. State-of-the-art from Dr. Mutter and Dr. Kuspa at the Gastrointestinal Institute. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. 
a difference in philosophies so far. Bob Drake is confident in his three-point shooting. We're seeing Templeton knock down the three. That's where they're going to get their points from. The Redbirds trying to go inside here tonight, and they've really made an emphasis on getting the ball inside to Odiacosa. Well, you, you hit the nail on the head. It's just that the, the, the two philosophies at the start of this game, that does not mean the Redbirds aren't going to be shooting the three. It just means they're trying to establish some scoring strength on the inside early in this game and see if they can take advantage of what they consider to be a mismatch. And on the other end, you're going to see Drake shoot that three all night long. It's going to come in a variety, from a variety of people. Both these teams, by the way, about the same in number of three-point shots made per game. Both are right around nine. Illinois State just over nine, Drake just under nine. So obviously, neither team shy. Camp on hitting the three. Here's Templeton, it's guarded by Aguti. This is Stanley. Running the point, Adam Emenaker, last year's Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year, has graduated, and Stanley has to fill his big shoes this season. And those are big shoes, because Adam Emenaker had, he had become something special in the league. Pump fakes, Cox, three, no, long rebound, the Redbirds. Once again, one and done for the Bulldogs. The Redbirds are doing a great job of controlling the boards at this point in time. Yeah, the Redbirds leading the battle of the boards, 8-3, and another foul down on the Drake Bulldogs down low. This is Alex White who's just checked in, and he is guilty of bodying up on Odia Kosa. Brandon Sampay has checked in for Redbirds, so they're running that to double post at least this time. But it looks like Tim Jankovic is dead set on making the inside game a factor here tonight. It's going to be a priority early. looking for his first point tonight. And a blocking foul against the Bulldogs, and that's Josh Young. Which is a rarity. Josh Young is not one that fouls very often. Start of the season, he went four games yeah. before he picked up a foul. My goodness, there's, I mean, there's been nights the Redbirds haven't gotten four seconds without picking up a foul. Skip pass from Phillips to Gucci pump, step inside the arch, missed the shot. The Redbirds are cold coming out of the gates here. Back up the floor comes Drake. This is Stanley. Trailing the play is Templeton. Here's Young. Quick trigger. Missed the three. High rebound. Battle four. Still loose. And somehow Phillips comes away with it. Great high four. That kid's a little bulldog boy. He just, he's tenacious when he wants it. The Redbirds right now one of eight from the field trying to snap out of this cold shooting start. Phillips penetrates. Little floater. That's going to be missed. And it's going to be a foul on the birds. Phillips went up on that thinking pass and then got up and there wasn't in the air unless his feet and there wasn't where to pass and he wasn't able to finish the shot. We'll see him getting the penetration here on the replay. Does a good job of getting into the middle of the lane. And as you can tell right there, he just didn't finish the shot. There was no flip to it whatsoever. Did a great, if he can keep getting into the middle of the lane like that, he'll do some damage, I guarantee you, if he can get position like that. Redbirds are in their traditional half-court, man-to-man. There's Young again. Another long is missed. But rebound gathered once again by the Bird. Tell you what, the rebounding is for the Birds in the ball right now. They're not so well, but they're limiting the Bulldogs to one and two. Sam Hay just barely nicked the rim on that one. Rebound, Odia Kosa, he can't get it to go. The Redbirds can't get the basket right now. And we've got a turnover against the Bulldogs bringing the ball up the floor. A carrying call is whistled against Josh Parker, the sophomore from suburban Chicago, who's checked in the game. That's been an emphasis throughout the season. We've both seen that call probably once and seen sometimes twice a game where they, and, and, and I like the fact that they make that call early in the game. So they establish the fact that the players, this is where it's gonna be called tonight. Here's a Gucci, had a shot blocked. Now back in the front court. Yeah, that Parker. Was that shot by Champ was probably a little too quick in the shot clock to the likings of the coaches. But Parker just committed his second consecutive turnover. And I think he's going to come out of the game. He's quickly going down to the bench and making a change as Mark Phelps. He's going to drag in Barry and Brooke. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. He was out of control on that one. He got in and got his penetrating dribble in, but he was out of control on it and then had to throw a nasty-looking pass to the likings of the Redbirds. So Jake Barry and Brooke Sr. from Springfield, Wisconsin, is in the game. Redbirds just two points here in the first seven minutes of this basketball game. Not something very many people are used to seeing. This right. is an explosive offensive club. It's a foul way out of the perimeter against John Michael Hall, 
of Drake. Yeah, the Redbirds, the number one scoring team in the Missouri Valley Conference, averaging better than 75 points per game. So to go seven minutes with only a bucket is, is rare. Here's Eldridge, gets up now to Rubin. He penetrates. Eldridge, baseline, fade away. Can't get it to go. Tipped up by Odia Cosa and controlled by Brent Fusker. Old shooting for the Redbirds and now falling is still in on state. The Birds right now, Bob, one of 13, one of their first 13 shots from the floor. Have a look at that foul here. Foul's gonna go against Alex Rubin. See Drew contact on Stanley. Stanley did a nice little hesitation dribble at the top of the key area, just off the left side, and held up, boom, accelerated, caught Alex Rubin off guard, and he bumped him. Both teams trying to dictate their own pace in this one. Cox thought about the three, Sam Pay came out nicely. Neither team is likely going to be canceled for a shot clock violation tonight because they can shoot it and they get it across the line and get it up. There's a three that goes down. It's Heemskirk. You know, Heemskirk is a post player, but he's not afraid to shoot the three. He's a four, three, three makes the season. Post players in the Bulldog offense yes. have to be able to shoot the three. I mean, they, they thrive on that. That's what they're good at. That's what they li like to take advantage of. Ruben. Now with St. Perry, his foul line jumper is in, and the Redbirds are going to break that long scoring drop. Well, that's an area in that zone that you're going to find is vulnerable. Right at the old elbow, the free throw line area of, the, of that zone is, is something that you can take advantage of if you look for it. There's that great passing by the Bulldogs again to the open man, but the shot is missed by Barry and Brock, and now come the Redbirds back up the floor. Alex Rubin, he'll fire up a three. That is short. St. Pay tries to get the offensive rebound. He threw it off a body and out of bounds. The Redbirds are going to get a nice hustle by the big man. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Drake with an early lead, 8-4 over Illinois State here at Redbird Arena. Back with more from Normal in just a minute. Fresh means better, and nobody has fresher meat than Cowlitz Hills Meat Shop. Put it your way. Do you ever really? The Cowlitz Hills Meat Shop, you do. Order what you want, any size you want, and as much as you want. We'll have it packaged on site and cut, ready for your table or freezer. And you have a good day. The Cowlitz Hills Meat Shop, it's not a gimmick, it's our business. For the widest selection of fresh hand-cut meat, delicious homemade sides, and sausages, visit Cowlitz Hills Meat Shop in Normal. Happy New Year! Our goal, a Honda in every garage. Stop by Bradbacher Honda in Bloomington. Honda just opened a new plant building in Civic. They are reliable and fun to drive. All Hondas are New Year priced. Better hurry. <laughs> Honda plants have cleaned at home with low rates and extended terms. Honda certified used the Cords, Pilots, Auto Seat, Civic, and CRD. Honda makes have car factory ports too. Happy New Year! Our goal, a Honda in every garage. Stop by Bradbacher Honda in Bloomington. <laughs> Tickets for the January 24th game when the Redbirds battle SIU at Redbird Arena at 4.05 p.m. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. 8-4, Drake leading Illinois State, but Bob, you mentioned there's going to be a spot in that zone where Brandon Sate hit that jump shot from that's going to be available tonight for Illinois State. It is if they're patient. We saw Alex Rubin make a penetrating drive that time out of out of the, uh, or excuse me, on the baseline, he got cut, but by getting cut off, he occupied the post defender, which left that open area in free throw line area, so he was able to be patient, draw the defender, kick the open spot, boom. Brandon Sefe knocked down. Good ball movement right there. Well, the Redbirds trying their best to break out of a very cold start here. They've made just two of their first 15 shots from the field, yet only trail 8-4. Most of us probably thought the score at this point in time would have probably been 20 to 24, and I'm just 8 to 4. These are two explosive offenses. Yeah, the Bulldogs only shooting 30 percent at 3 out of, out of 10. But you mentioned earlier that the, the Redbird rebounding right now has kept them in this basketball game. 
Here's a Gucci. His three. That's it. And maybe that'll get Bird started. Good ball movement once again. They reversed it two times, brought it back, found Champ open on the left wing. First basket of the night for a Gucci. Whistle away from play. And it's going to go against the Redbirds, it looks like. It's going to go against Emmanuel Holloway. Happened away from the ball underneath the basket. But we're seeing Mike Stanley come back in. He can send Jacob Derenbrook to the bench. Sam Pay has grabbed the seat on the Redbird bench, and Odiakosa is back in. Both teams doing their traditional defenses. ISU half-court man. Drake in their 3-2 matchup zone. Redbirds double team on Josh Young. Phillips came over to help out. Good idea to get the ball out of his hands. Emmanuel Holloway has drawn the assist to guard him. Here's Cox, but he can't get it. Offensive rebound, but then Cox foul against, nope, it's gonna be a jet ball, and the held ball goes towards Drake. Hey, right there, that missed shot. You'll never see, there's no stat for this, but Lloyd Phillips had set up to take the charge, and, and as we see him coming down the, down the lane, he had to adjust his body so he didn't charge, and in, a, in, in the process of making the adjustment, he took his eye off the basket. Cox from deep. He's looking for his first point tonight. Right now, Birds are playing tremendous defense. It, it's, they're finishing off defensive sequences with strong rebounding. And that's kept him in the ball game. Rubin thought about the three left open, skip pass way up, and Phillips lost it on bounds. So that's two of the smaller players on the floor trying to connect over the top of uh, the defense. Not a bad idea, just a miscue on the pass. It, it, you got to be able to get ball movement. If they take away the first pass available to you, you got to be able to look for the skip pass. But apparently throwing that time. The Redbirds with their third turnover here in this ball game. Here's Young, in traffic, missed the shot, ball is loose, picked up by Odia. Again, good defense by the Birds. They contested the shot and came away with the board. One and done. That's got to be their theme on defense tonight. Osiris, and the, I'm sorry, Osiris Eldridge is back at the scores table, so he'll come in in the next whistle. Note the patience being shown by the Redbirds here. Here's Phillips. Oh, it's Ruben with seven on the shot clock. Now it's a Gucci pump. And his fadeaway is missed. Odia cuts the offensive down and stick back, and the Redbirds have the lead. Good job of displaying patience, but yet knowing the shot clock. Good shots present good offensive rebound opportunities. Odia Kosa now has six rebounds in the first half, but right back down the floor and knocking down a three. Adam Templeton, that's his second three-point make here in the first 11 minutes. And, Bob, this was a guy who was really struggling coming into the game, shooting just 25% from the floor in his last seven games, but he's finally stroke here tonight. That's, that's what's going to extremely difficult team to play against. Is that you never know who it's going to be that's going to hurt you. Holloway penetrates his floater. Missed. Rebound picked out to Drake. Here comes Stanley. Bulldogs have the numbers if they like it. Young, through the defense, may have traveled. No whistle yet. And it's going to be a tie-up held ball. This time it's going to go to the Redbirds. That's kind of interesting that there wasn't a travel ball. And when you're dribbling, fall down and slide. If it wasn't a foul, then it should You would have thought it would have been a travel. Well, Mark Phelps wanted a foul. And of course, Tim Jankovic wanted a travel. And neither coach got either of those whistles. <laughs> So from the official standpoint, nobody's yeah, happy right. with you. <laughs> <laughs> no win situation that's there. Right. Now it's Osiris Eldridge. His three is short, and it's out of bounds off of Odiacosa. It's going to be the Drake Bulldogs basketball. Osiris offers his first three shots from the field now. Again, he is uh, trying to get himself back into uh, that, that flow after battling the flu the last couple of days, held the seven points at Indiana State on Saturday. Again, his average is 15 and a half a game. You know, when I, anybody that's battled the flu, and, and, and he had a bad, I mean, he had a he, severe bout with it. Once you feel fine, now you got to go back and get your timing back and everything else. And that's what he's str struggling with right here tonight, is he did he sh find that stroke and that touch of his. It's going to be a fall against the Redbirds. And we'll take a break here. 7.42 to go till halftime. Low scoring game. Drake leads it by 2.11.9. Back with more from Redbird Arena in just a moment.
If you're craving comfort food, you gotta head over to Shannon's. Serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Shannon's has a variety of daily specials starting at just $5.95. And signature sandwiches like the buffalo chicken, handmade tenderloin, and the horseshoe. Shannon's Home Cooking is sure to please everyone with their everyday home-cooked meals at pleasing prices. Shannon's, located at the corner of Veterans Parkway and Mercer Avenue. Come on over to Shannon's, where food, family, and friends come together. Now is the time to see what's new in Uptown Normal. And when you visit either by foot, on a bike, or in a car, remember to practice caution and safety. Drivers should yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk. Bicyclists should dismount when in pedestrian areas. And everyone is encouraged to be aware of their surroundings and use courtesy with others. Come visit Uptown Normal today. Uptown Normal, changing the definition. Schooners is what comes to mind when you say neighborhood bar and grill. Independently owned and operated, Schooners opened its doors in 1983. Schooners has been a neighborhood tradition, serving delicious foods like beer battered chicken, buffalo wings, schooner burger, fresh garden salads and homemade soups, the famous King Tenderloin. And try our new mini tenderloin butter. Schooners offers blue plate specials every weekday from 11 to 2 and homemade items. Come on in, get something for you today. Taste the local flavor at Schooners, 829-6841. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. Back here at Redwood Arena where Illinois State trails the Drake Bulldogs 11. Man, it's been a slow start for the ISU offense. Bob, it has not been a slow start for that guy, Dino Diacosa. No question about it. He's one of the best rebounders in the conference, if not the best rebounder in the conference. And he knows his teammate's skills. He knows when the perimeter players are about to go up with the shot, and he starts positioning himself appropriately for the rebound position. We saw in that replay right there, he had that weak side board and finished it off with the two-point lay-in afterwards. So he has four of Illinois State's nine points. He also has five rebounds here in the first 11 minutes, 12 minutes of this basketball game now. He traveled that time. Now a double team in the corner, but somehow Parker gets out of it. Slips the ball to Stanley. Stanley's quick off the dribble. He is. It, it's understandable they went out and recruited him to come in to replace Hammernecker. He sets up the perimeter game very, very well. Here's Templeton. He did a nice job of getting that basketball away before committing the traveling violation. Parker, fade away, missed it, tipped long way, ah. out to the Bulldogs. Give credit that time to Bill Eady, who's checked in. He had that back tap out. Now it's Heemskirk spinning, missing. Well, the Bulldogs have got to be thinking the same thing that ISU is, is they're a lit-up basket right now. Well, if you, from the offensive perspective, that's exactly what you're thinking. If, you, if you're looking at it from a defensive perspective, you're going, man, we're playing great defense right now. Yeah, both teams held right now to four field goals on the night. Here's a Gucci, his three is good. So Champa Gucci has knocked down a couple of outside jump shots, and he's hopefully going to get that Redbird offense going here. Well, because of the zone, the Birds have been able to go four round one and put Dima Odiakosa in the middle, and that's allowed Champ to be able to drop out onto the and become another perimeter player where he's most comfortable taking shots from. Second made three of the night for Oguchi. Give him six points and give the Redbirds a one-point advantage at 12-11. I believe that's their first lead of the year. Kurt. Second. Is it second? Uh, you're good. You're real good. <laughs> Somebody's telling me that in my ear. That's the only reason why. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I'm sorry, that's Craig Stanley with the jump shot there. So uh, that was a short-lived Illinois State advantage. We're under six minutes to go here. Bulldogs 13, Redbirds 12. Kurt Pegler, Bob Morris with you here on Comcast. Mike Phillips 3 is no good. Quickly back on the floor. Parker rejected by a boot. Oh, I tell you. They push the ball hard, they being Drake. They push the ball hard when they get a defensive board. They look to go. If you aren't sprinting, and I mean dead sprint back on defense, they're going to take it right to the rim and, and try to draw fouls or get easy buckets. John Michael Hall is now checking in for Drake. He replaces Adam Templeton. We will see Seat Odzik for the first time for Illinois State. He sends Lloyd Phillips to the Redbird bench. One point advantage for the Drake Bulldogs. Five and a half to go at halftime. We'll hear from new Redbird football coach, Brock Spack, so stay tuned for that. That ought to be an exciting interview. 
Nice cut and lay in by Hinskirt and give credit to Hall who just checked in for the pass. Pretty play right there. Old fundamental basketball, the old give and go. Hinskirt now with five points. Templeton, when you take a look at the Drake team, it's not the guys that you would think. It's not Josh Young and Josh Parker. Instead, they're getting their scoring tonight from Adam Templeton and Brent Hinskirt. Now here's Aguchi. He's got the hot hand. He's going to miss the three that time. The ball is still loose. It's tipped around and somehow controlled by Odia Kosa. He hustles hard. Boy, he plays hard. Now to the corner. Holloway pump fake. Penetrates. Flip the ball into Dima for the jam. With that penetration, Emmanuel Holloway got into the heart of that zone. They had to step up the stopping. That left Dima Odia Kosa wide open for the plug. Well, you've said it before, Bob. If you're not shooting the ball well, you got to find other ways to help your team out. And Holloway, who is scoreless tonight on 0 for 3 for shooting, with a terrific assist there. Now Young had his pocket picked from behind. And Holloway comes up with the steal. Does it on the defensive end now. Finds the open man in the Gucci. Works the baseline around Cox. Hangs, fires, can't get it. Now Stanley back in the front court. Bulldogs quickly up the floor. And a foul against the Birds. If that's on Holloway, that'd be his second. It is, and it is, so which, by Tim Jankovic's standards, that usually means you, you sit on the bench the rest of the half. I'll get another look at it here. So Holloway out, Phillips in, and now leaving the game for the Bulldogs is Heemskirk, who's played very well, and coming in is Alex White. Here's Young, off the inbounds, off the glass, can't get it. Odia Kosa outfights a couple of Bulldogs. He's just an animal on the boards tonight, both ends. He's got seven rebounds here. He actually started <laughs> coming down the floor then, he looks a little winded. Well, he's, he, as you said, he has been a horse tonight on the glass for Illinois State. Good ball reversal right there. Eldridge three. Can't get it top of the backboard, boy. Osiris is trying his best to get his offense back in gear. Nothing working for him. Left open. A three is missed by Hall. Long rebound of Gucci. The Birds have really done a nice job on the backboard. Well, the thing I like about what the Birds are doing, they're getting great ball movement. And like you said, Osiris is taking it, but he's not forcing anything. He's taking shots that he should be taking. Eventually, they'll go down. And yeah, we've seen him make a lot more difficult, tougher shots, right? Not Jankovic and Jankovic asking for a timeout, and he'll get it. Be a third, second time. Oh, yeah, we've seen Osiris Eldridge uh, make some shots a lot more difficult than the ones really he's taken tonight. He's had some open looks. They're just not going in. That's exactly right. And, and he's the type of explosive player that when he does find that stroke and he does get into that rhythm, and he will eventually, that he can just single-handedly put the team on his back and carry him for a while. Well, the Redbirds are trying to avoid their first three-game losing streak under Vin Jankovic the last time they had dropped three consecutive games you have to go back to February of 2007 and ISU has been pretty good in following losses under coach Jankovic they are eight and three in the past two seasons trying to bounce back from a loss should Illinois State win tonight they would hand Tim Jankovic his 40th win in 52 games as Redbird head coach he would be the fastest Illinois head coach to ever win 40 games needing just 52 games Gene Smithson won his 40th game in his 53rd attempt. What Tim Jankovic has accomplished here has been short of miraculous, I think. He's turned around the culture in a very short period oh. of time. And a steal that time by John Michael Hall all the way down in the flush. He anticipated the play nicely, came away with the steal and the finish. Sloppy ball handling and passing that time on, on that off, last offensive possession by the Birds. Eldridge just cut off, and now his pass is picked off by Barenbrook. Down the lane, Young had a shot blocked, and Josh Young is still down. He had a dick. All the way down, and missing the shot is Phillips. Sampay offensive rebound. He can't get it to go. Unbelievable. The Redbirds just cannot buy a bucket here tonight. The frustration that comes with that. I mean, they're getting ob obviously getting great looks and good opportunities. Penetration. His pass is out of bounds. And a turnover against the Bulldogs and a timeout on the floor. 2.05 to go here, first half. Tough sledding for both teams. Drake 17, Illinois State 14. Back with more on Comcast. 
Now is the time to sign up for golf and racing leagues at the Bloomington Indoor Golf Club. Don't put your clubs away this winter. Join one of our two-person golf leagues and enjoy a little competition. Play a new course each week, and when you sign up, you may win one of two memberships to the Wyvern Golf Club at ISU. Leagues begin the week after Thanksgiving. Need a little more speed? Tighten your seatbelts, pick your favorite driver, and take the checkered flag in one of our racing simulators. Racing leagues are now forming. For more details, call six, six boats, Bloomington Indoor Golf Club, 11 Fight Let's Drive. Products don't know how to find customers, but Comcast Spotlight does, with a mix of on-air, online, and on-demand advertising. You can reach your customers wherever they are. Looking for a way to get in shape without breaking the bank? Try Illinois State University Recreation Services. Whether you're a student or a community member, we offer a variety of membership options and programs to fit your wallet and your lifestyle. Personal training, group fitness, racquetball, basketball courts and track, plus much more. Fit in something new and get active for less with Illinois State University Recreation Services. For more information, call 438-PLAY. Visit our website or come see us at the corner of Beach and Willow in Normal. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. Folks that are just seeing a box score for this game would assume that the game is is being very you know sloppy and not being played hard. That's not the case. I think both teams are playing hard. There you see a steal and a dunk there for John Michael Hall for Drake, and now a jam on the other end for Odia Coach. So both teams are going at it hard. It's just the offense has not happened. Exactly. Neither one of them are shooting a very good percentage tonight. And I think it's just the exact opposite of what everybody that's sitting in this arena was expecting when they came to the game tonight. These are, you know, I sound like a broken record. I know when I say everybody was expecting explosiveness from both both directions, but it hasn't happened. It's been really a, a well-played game. It just hasn't been a, a good shooting percentage by either squad. Bulldogs in a zone D there, and the ball tipped out of bounds. So the Redbirds have Phillips, Eldridge, Odzik, Sampay, and Aguchi on the floor right now. Under two minutes to go until halftime. It's a three-point Drake lead. Drake plays a 3-2 matchup, and it's one, one type of zone that you don't see very often all, all season. Tie game after Aguchi knocks down his third three-point make of the night. And right there is one good way to play a 3-2 matchup. Drop one from about 22 feet away. Gucci now with 45 made three-pointers on the season. And that leads the Redbirds. He's not shy about them, is he? Now the Redbirds really needed something there, and they got the tie making three. We're even at 17. Now Hall penetrates, lost the dribble, and his pass is picked off. I'm not sure one of his, his teammates, either teammate that that ball could have been intended for, knew the pass was coming. Well, they neither one of them were going to get it. It didn't have a chance to be completed. Great defense by the Birds once again. Champ's going to try from the other side. He can't get it. And it's Dan Pay fighting for the loose ball. Good job once again by the Redbirds. And they take advantage. Phillips knocks down the three. Second chance points. And when it's a three, it hurts even more. Once again, Brandon Sampay made that happen. If it hasn't been Dima Odiacosa, it's been Brandon Sampay doing the damage on the boards. Hall, tough shot over Eldridge and scores off the glass. So John Michael Hall, who's a 6'5 senior, averaging just two and a half points per game, has come up with a couple of big buckets here in the opening half for the Bulldogs. The shot clock is off, so the Redbirds will likely hold for the final shot. You're exactly right. Coach Jankovic has already called for that. One shot only. we inside 10. I believe Champ's going to let her fly. Bingo. Aguchi knocks down another three at the horn. Oh, what a momentum shot, Kurt. Champ Aguchi with four three-point makes now has 12 points. He's given the Redbirds a four-point advantage, 23-19 at the half. Where did all the offense come from here in the final 90 seconds? <laughs> That's exactly what the Redbirds were hoping would happen because they got, like you say, off to such a sluggy start. The ball movement had been there, but the baskets hadn't been. And then in the last 90, whoo, it's raining threes. Halftime at Redbird Arena. Champ Aguchi's three has given Illinois State a 23-19 lead. Back to talk with 
Brock Spath, the new head football coach at Illinois State in just a minute. You're watching Illinois State basketball here on Comcast. Welcome to CB Hair Design, a salon for every age and every hairstyle, and we're affordable for every income. CB Hair Design is all about doing good hair. Our experienced professionals do it all, from chemical treatments including perms and highlights to great cuts. CB Hair Design is a big salon with an intimate feel. Open six days a week from 9 a.m. till the last style is done. CB Hair Design, 209 South Prospect in Bloomington. Call 663-5441 for an appointment today. Since 1967, Quality Truck Equipment is Bloomington Normal's only truck equipment upfitter. Quality Truck handles the highest quality truck bodies available, dumps to service vehicles and everything in between. Quality Truck Equipment's professionals design and install a truck body tailored to your needs. Not only will we save you money up front, our high quality bodies will far outlast cookie cutter bodies found on car lots. Quality Truck Equipment, conveniently located at 1201 Bell Street in Bloomington. For over 60 years, Van Gundy Insurance has been building solid partnerships in Central Illinois by providing business insurance, work compensation, and employee benefits. Work with an independent agency who understands your need to have the correct coverage at a competitive price, and then insure with confidence at the Van Gundy Agency. Visit our enhanced website at vangundy.com to discover how Van Gundy Agency can meet your insurance needs. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. And we are back here at Redbird Arena. Kurt Pegler along with Brock Speck. He's the new head football coach here at Illinois State. Hired a couple of weeks ago. Congratulations on that. Welcome to town. I know it, uh, it's been a whirlwind. I'm sure you probably are still trying to figure out what day of the week it is, what uh, day of the month it is. It's been nothing but traveling back and forth and getting yourself uh, accustomed to life here in normal, isn't it? Yeah, it's been very busy, but it's been a lot of fun putting the staff together and catching up on the recruiting. But it's uh, been embraced by the community. We're having a great time. You come with uh, a lot of experience from Purdue, uh, being on the staff there for Coach Tiller, who I know is uh, retiring. So they're having a coaching change at Purdue, just as you're coming over here at Illinois State. I guess the fans would like to know what kind of philosophy you'll bring here to uh, to Illinois State. You're an Illinois guy. I know that you uh, were born in, in Rockford and Rockford native, so you want to recruit the state well. So yep. what, what do you want to do here at Illinois State? Well, that's, that's the main thing is recruiting. That's a life for program. We want to try to st establish a foothold here in Illinois for sure. And, uh, uh, we're going to take care of our home first before we expand out. Um, so that's, that's probably our number one goal as far as recruiting. Uh, Football-wise, we're going to throw it around quite a bit. I mean, we run a spread offense, and I've been a part of that. You know, during my whole career, I've been at Purdue for 22 years. And we, the quarterback is key. You know, if you have a great quarterback, it changes the game. That you'll see that here. We'll be we're working hard with quarterbacks and. We're going to throw it around pretty good. I'm sure quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers love to hear that. I know you've <laughs> hired Coach Stubblefield, broke all kinds of records at Purdue. So guys that are going to be wearing those numbers in the 80s, those wideouts, probably love to hear that kind of stuff. Huh? Yeah, I think they're going to be pretty excited. We, uh, we're going to throw it around a little bit. But we, you, know, you still have to be able to run the football. You know, we went to the Rose Bowl at Purdue in, 19, in 2000 through. Um, we were the third leading rushing team in the Big Ten. So that's, uh, and that makes your defense tougher, and uh, we definitely got to improve a lot on defense in order to get a championship Cal football team. And that's probably the reason I was brought here is to uh, change the mindset defensively. We've hired some great coaches on defense. Man, I'm telling you, we have great coaches, period. But Phil Almation is, is a big-time coach, and we're very, we should be very thrilled to have him here. And that is right now what's on your plate, among the other things. You're still trying to fill out your staff. You've got a couple of positions left to do so uh, that's what's been taking up much of your time here the last couple of weeks. yeah we're busy doing that trying to burn the candles on both ends so to speak you're on the road recruiting and uh trying to put a staff together so that's been uh keeping us real busy and i know you've got a daughter that plays softball at purdue and they joked uh, in the news conference when they introduced you that uh, you know if if you wanted to bring her along too you could probably have her uh, make uh, make room for the softball but how how is, how is your family adjusting to life as, as now you're transitioning into being a head coach uh, they're doing very well it's uh, my daughter is a, um, a senior in college so she's kind of pretty well established she's got a job after college she's all set and, uh, my son's a young guy he's a high school kid so he's uh, he's kind of going over that have that anxiousness about you know changing uh, venue so to speak so uh, he's doing well Amy, my wife, has uh, done a great job with the family. You know, as a football coach, you really, you really uh, count on your wife. She's supposed to take care of the family. She does a great job. Last question for you. What was it about this job that 
really appealed to you. They said, you know what, I'm going to go after it. It's a, it's a position that's open and I want to go after it. What was it about this job? Well, you kind of put touch on it at the start. You know, I'm from here. This is my home state. I grew up here. Uh, so it was very natural. I, I used to recruit the city of Chicago for 12 years. And then uh, when I came back to Purdue in 1997, I, I kind of expanded down to Florida and Georgia. But uh, I've hit, when I was a young coach, I coached at Eastern Illinois. And Eastern Illinois was in the gateway. And I always kind of wondered why this place wasn't better than they were. Uh, always thought I was a sleeping giant. I thought if someone came in here and maybe knew, really knew what they're doing, they could really, uh, really do some damage. So I just thought it was a great job, great community, uh, great place to live. And uh, that, was, that was all part of the, the equation when we were looking for a new job and have a chance to win. We have great leadership here right now. Dr. Bowman and, and Dr. Zeng are, are, are tremendous uh, leaders, and I think that's Everything was perfect timing for me in this whole thing. So. Well, Redbird Nation is certainly hoping that you awaken the sleeping giant. Congratulations. Welcome to town and best of luck the rest of the uh, well, winter as you recruit and start your coaching. Staff. Thanks a lot. Rock okay. Jackson, head football coach at Illinois State. Back with more from Redbird Arena in just a moment. The Redbirds have a 23-19 halftime lead for Drake. How was that? Whether you're hosting a party or sitting down to enjoy the game, don't forget the beer nuts. Peanuts, cashews, or almonds are available in different tastes, sure to please everyone. We offer a large selection of unique gift packs and specialty items for every occasion and price range. Shop in person, by phone, by fax, or by mail. You can even shop on our website at nuts.com. Shop in either of our two locations, the corner of Washington and Robinson Streets in Bloomington or at the Sale Barn on Route 51 South. tickets for the January 24th game when the Redbirds battle SIU at Redbird Arena at 4.05 p.m. The Alamo 2 has the most used textbooks on campus and that saves you money. Alamo 2 has a helpful staff to assist students in finding their books. Alamo 2 has the largest selection of ISU merchandise in Bloomington Normal. January 10th through 16th, all ISU apparel and ISU kits are 25% off, plus a great selection of school supplies. Check out the Alamo's extended hours for your convenience. Remember, the Alamo 2 has the most used textbooks on campus, and that saves you money. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. Back at the time, we're at Illinois State 23 and Drake 19. We're now joined by the Vice President of Human Resources at Broman Healthcare, Alex Horvath, who... Uh, uh, the uh, Roman Healthcare has a, a great relationship, I guess, with Illinois State L University. So let's start out by talking about that relationship. Both have been in this community for better than 100 years, so you guys go way back. What kind of things, collaborations are going on between Broman and, and Illinois State? Yes, Kurt, uh, there's been the opportunity to work on medical research uh, here in the Twin Cities, and there's also been the opportunity to focus on nursing education. We've been able to work on the uh, Main Street Corridor all the way from Normal right. to Bloomington uh, as well and then working on an upcoming uh, daycare center for uh, employees and staff of both organizations. So looking forward to that as well. So many partnerships. Is sports medicine something that's also big? Obviously, uh, in, in, in the world of athletics, that's one of the first questions that recruits ask about, coaches ask about, and uh, you would be a guy that could answer that question. Yes, absolutely. Sports medicine is significant uh, in the uh, in Twin Cities and uh, with Roman Healthcare. A number of physicians that are associated with the organization do a great job uh, attending the athletes and also providing the type of services that we'd like to see a, a, a university town such as this. The partnerships, as you say, have run deep. Can you give me uh, an idea of some of the collaborations that you've had between the, between the university and, and, and Broman? Absolutely. One is uh, in the medical education area with neurosciences. We run a residency program at Broman where individuals to become neurosurgeons are here with us for six years. Mm. So as part of that, they do work here at Illinois State University in neurosurgical research so they can pick up their PhD here at Illinois State University while partnering and becoming a neuro 
epidural surgeon at the same time. So those individuals are under the guidance of, uh, of physicians and then also the staff here in research. So very exciting opportunity. People in this neck of the woods know that your daughter Stephanie played on a very good normal West soccer team for a couple of years and she's now at North Carolina State. So in our final few seconds, can you give us a little update on how she's doing? Absolutely, Kurt. That's a, Thanks for asking. Uh, doing well, doing great. Loves the university, loves playing at that level. Misses the hometown here and uh, was a big Redbird fan. Now she does that plus uh, being a uh, North Carolina State Wolfpack fan. So I'm sure in the ACC she doesn't miss January in Central Florida. Oh, you got that right. <laughs> it's a friendly phone call. Hey, it's 70 here. How you doing? That's right. There's Thanks. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. We appreciate all the, uh, the collaboration between ISU and Broman Healthcare. <laughs> Back with more from Redbird Arena. Illinois State with a four-point lead over Drake in just a bit. If you're craving comfort food, you ought to head over to Shannon's. Serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Shannon's has a variety of daily specials starting at just $5.95. And signature sandwiches like the buffalo chicken, handmade tenderloin, and the horseshoe. Shannon's Home Cooking is sure to please everyone with their everyday home cooked meals at pleasing prices. Shannon's, located at the corner of Veterans Parkway and Mercer Avenue. Come on over to Shannon's, where food, family, and friends come together. Will Rogers said, don't talk to me about the return on my money. Talk to me about the return of my money. Just guarantee it and make sure it's going to be there. In 29 years of helping individuals with their investment and savings plans, people have one desire in regard to their money above all others, and that is for safety. Today, there are ways to experience the potential of market type rates of return while protecting your principal. If this strategy, growth with safety, is appealing to you, contact us today, and we'll show you exciting new alternatives for your money to help it grow and keep it safe at the same time. Cut your utility bills up to 50% with a Carrier Geothermal Comfort System from Pro Air Heating, Cooling, and Electrical. Phone 452-3415. Carrier, turn to the experts. I'm Rick Klein. Call me for all your insurance and financial needs at 452-9648. So I came right the day after Thanksgiving and um, was here for three months and came time to go home and I didn't want to go home. Independent living, skyline apartments, lifestyle by design. Call today, 815-844-6131. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. Half time here at Illinois State University where the Redbirds lead Drake 23-19. Kurt Pegler, Bob Morris with you here on Comcast. A slow moving first half as far as the offenses are concerned. The defenses, both teams uh, ratcheting, uh, ratcheting it up a notch if you would, but uh, the offensive numbers for, for two teams that really like to score a lot they're not going to impress you too much, are they? Uh, they? They really haven't done much to impress us by any stretch of the imagination. 28% from the floor for the Redbirds, 4% for Drake. If you could have told me yes, that between Jonathan Cox and who else am I looking Josh for? Josh Young. Here? Josh Young yeah. and Osiris Eldridge, the three of them would have had a combined total of two points. I would never believe you. You just saw the Brent Heemskirk three from the outside for Drake. We'll give you some highlights on how the game started. It was a very starting half for Illinois State. Drake running out to a uh, four-point lead initially. Young with that pull-up jump. And we saw Heemskirk with the three. The Redbirds were content on moving the ball inside to Dima Odiakosa. And even off of the uh, the miss here from Champaguchi, Agosa, uh, Odiakosa really threw a very active first half, six points and seven rebounds. Well, he, he's the reason the Birds are, were able to stay in the game and not get buried early, I believe. I mean, he, what, a, what a manly type effort. He had seven boards, six points, and he single-handedly scored off some offensive putbacks that, that kept us in the game at crucial times. And, and, and one of the th other things is we've had, the Redbirds have had nine offensive rebounds compared to Drake's three. So their opportunities to get putbacks have been limited by the way the birds have been crashing the boards. They only own a 21 to 17 overall, but as I said at the onset, let's just balance the boards. We don't have to, you know, this is a good rebounding team. We don't, we can't expect to crush them on the boards, but if we can balance it out and come a little bit ahead on the ahead on that side, then we're going to be okay. And I think that's what's happened to them. We didn't shoot well, but our rebounding and our defense has kept us in a position to be where we are now. Well, Odia Kosa was the story early, and the Gucci was the story late. You saw those threes at the end of our highlight reel there. He knocked down a couple of critical three-pointers at the end, including the one just at the halftime buzzer. 
Oh, we must have a superhero in the house or something along those lines. We got a good seat too up in the uh, first row of the upper deck, but it was. Uh, it I was, hope those it was, are thermal. It, well, yeah, it was the uh, it was the Superman on the chest of uh, Champa Gucci there towards the end. He knocked down four three-point shots for 12 points to finish the half, and that's the reason why the records are in 10 by four. Well, yeah, if Champ came to life there, and he kind of made, you know, sometimes offense by accident is a good thing, and, and we saw him kind of at times just say, I, "I've got to get us, I've got to get us over the hump." And, and particularly that last three-pointer that he knocked down right before the buzzer. That I, I, you know, offense by accident is a great thing when it goes in. Now the Redbirds send out their original starting five. That would be Aguchi, Odiakosa, Holloway, Phillips, and Eldridge. And Drake will counter also with their starting five. Craig Stanley, Brent Peenskirk, Josh Young, Adam Templeton, and Jonathan Cox to open the second half. It's a 23-19 Illinois State advantage, and Drake has the basketball to open the second half. The Bulldogs looking to stay in a first place tie in the Valley alongside Northern Iowa and Drake with a victory tonight. The Redbirds are trying to stay within a game of Valley leaders for the home victory. Three ball missed top of the circle from Stanley. Once again picked up right where they left off, forcing a contested shot, followed by a good rebound. The Birds came out to setting the tempo early. All the way down the lane, he's fouled. So Emmanuel Holloway with an aggressive move down the lane. One thing Emmanuel Holloway's been able to do throughout the first half, and he sh showed it again on the first possession in the second half, as we see it right here. Look how deep he gets into that zone defense off his penetrating dribble. When you get that low, the only thing they can do to stop you is foul you. And if somebody steps up to stop him and he and cuts him off, then he's got a dump down to either, well, this time it would have been Demo Odiakosa. He's doing a great job of single-handedly attacking that zone. Well, and as we mentioned in the first half, when they're not shooting the ball very well. You've got to find other ways to help your team out. Whether it's defense, whether it's rebounding, whether it's assists. Slicing to the basket right. is a good way to do it, too. Number one, Mr. Holloway has done that. He makes the foul shots. The Redbirds lead is sixth. It's their largest of the game. Deep three. Templeton missed it. Gucci the board. 8 for 25 shooting for the Bulldogs tonight, but they will continue to shoot all night long. They will not be discouraged by those numbers. Aguchi the miss. Quickly back up the floor. Here come the Bulldogs. Down the floor, lay it in. It was a bust out play. Templeton was at the top of the circle on defense. He was the first one down the floor and he gets the lay in. Those are the kind of things that they, they do because they run out and get quick putbacks on long rebounds. They, they'll really push the ball in. They're not necessarily a fast break transitional team, but if the opportunity presents itself, they look to hurt you. Osiris Eldridge's first points of the night come on a three from the corner. Well, maybe that lifted the lid off for the big O. Let's see what he can do from this point on. It's been a long struggle for him getting back. Let's see if that helps him find his rhythm. He's a one of five from the field after a scoreless opening half. The Redbird lead is seven at 28-21. Here comes Phillips now back in the front row. Now it's a Gucci. His three is good, and the Redbirds have come out on fire like what they did in the first half. Well, that's, that's kind of what this home crowd is a little more used to watching. Champ for three, Osiris for three, life is good. Mark Phelps wants timeout. Illinois State, 31, Drake, 21. Back with more from Jumpin' Red Arena in just a minute. Looking for a way to get in shape without breaking the bank? Try Illinois State University Recreation Services. Whether you're a student or a community member, we offer a variety of membership options and programs to fit your wallet and your lifestyle. Personal training, group fitness, racquetball, basketball courts and track, plus much more. Fit in something new and get active for less with Illinois State University Recreation Services. For more information, call 438-PLAY. Visit our website or come see us at the corner of Beach and Willow in Normal. Now is the time to see what's new in Uptown Normal. And when you visit, whether by foot, on a bike, or in a car, remember to practice caution and safety. Drivers should yield to pedestrians in the crosswalks. Bicyclists should dismount when in pedestrian areas. And everyone is encouraged to be aware of their surroundings and use courtesy with others. Come visit Uptown Normal today. Uptown Normal, changing the definition. 
Now's the time to sign up for golf and racing leagues at the Bloomington Indoor Golf Club. Don't put your clubs away this winter. Join one of our two-person golf leagues and enjoy a little competition. Play a new course each week, and when you sign up, you may win one of two memberships to the Wyvern Golf Club at ISU. Leagues begin week after Thanksgiving. Need a little more speed? Tuck your seatbelts, pick your favorite driver, and take the checkered flag in one of our racing simulators. Racing leagues are now forming. For more details, call 66-BOGEY. Bloomington Indoor Golf Club, 11 Finance Drive. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. Osiris Eldridge missed his first four shots from the field. He was 0 for 4 in the opening half. He hits his first shot here in the second half. Hopefully, as you said, Bob, that's a good omen for the birds. Well, I think it is because, once again, even those shots that he missed in the first half were good shots for him to be taking. He has to continue to shoot. You saw that he had no hesitation in that shot from the corner here to start the second half for himself, and he knocked it down. Let's hope then that from there he builds confidence and goes on. The Redbirds lead by 10, 31-21. But remember that last season, Drakey raced two double-digit leads against the Redbirds, winning a game in Des Moines in January and a game here in February, both times trailing by double digits. Here's Josh Young, tough shot, can't get it to go. The Redbirds have done a great job of harassing Josh Young tonight. That's a very good point you made, Kurt, about last year's games, and you better believe that the Redbirds discussed that at halftime. And as much as you'd like to say that they're two separate teams, there is some history there, and a foul on the steal by Templeton. Templeton has played very aggressively for the Drake Bulldogs. The fans liked the, the hard foul that time by Aguchi. Oh, he was, yeah, it was a hard foul, but it wasn't a flagrant foul, and he was going for the ball. And if, as we see the replay here, he's coming down, he got the angle, he's only going with one hand. He got him on the arm, but the ball was at the ex extension of that arm. Yeah, we've both seen a lot worse. John Michael Hall might be just kind of hitting his stride here. You mentioned that uh, off the bench, he's only averaging 2.4 points a game for Mark Phelps' team. However, he played very well in Sunday's victory over Wichita State. He scored 10 points in the game. At one point, he had eight consecutive points, and he played well here tonight. Give him six points in limited time for the Bulldogs again off the bench. And that and, and <clears throat> that was a win against Wichita that went right down to the wire. They had to play hard all the way to the end, and his play was very crucial to the win. Here's Aguchi, springs free. His three is no good off the front of the iron. High up to get it is Emmanuel Holloway. It's a held ball. It's going to go to the Redbirds. So there again is Emmanuel Holloway under the basket doing something good for Illinois State. Once again, crashing the boards hard for the Birds on the offensive end. This time, Emmanuel Holloway. Just great opportunities to get some chance for to crash the boards hard. Oh, he's going to try again. His three rims no good. This time the tip is controlled by the Bulldogs. Here comes Stanley quickly back up the front court. All the way down, shoots over Lloyd Phillips and scores. What was a 10-point quickly down to six immediately. Two possessions we missed. The birds miss, two possessions they make. Craig Stanley, you mentioned in the first half, is lightning fast. But Gucci nearly traveled, works the baseline, hangs, fires, and scores. Got contested and put the ball down on the floor. Almost created a travel, but got away with it and ended up shooting and scoring the layup. Everybody on the Drake Bulldogs bench certainly calling for a travel. Three is missed that time by Templeton. Long rebound to Phillips. The Redbirds have numbers if they want him. All the way down, lob for Osiris Eldridge, but he was fouled. It was Young who wanted to prevent the lob from happening, and he got O underneath the basket. O's, O's down there <laughs> jokingly asking for the flagrant foul because, as you see here, he gets pushed. And, you know, that's a player doesn't like that when he gets bumped as he's going in the air. Once you're airborne, you're defenseless. You have no way of regaining your balance and preventing an injury. So it's really kind of a dangerous move. Brandon Sampay has now checked in for the Redbirds. He replaces Emmanuel Holloway. Aguchi splits the double team. Eldridge finds Phillips in the corner. He penetrates. It's now going to be Champ from the corner. His three is in and out. And Osiris Eldridge oh. tried with one hand to, to tip it, and the other hand they kind of hang out of the rim to no avail. Here's Young. His three in rhythm is good. Yep. That young man, I'm just holding my breath. I haven't said his name the whole game because he scares me. He can just 
go crazy. We've both seen it, haven't we, Curtis? We he can, have. He can just score in buckets out there from that long distance range. That's his first three-point shot of the night. He's got 39 on the season. He shoots it at 40% from beyond the arc. The Redbirds have defended him very nicely tonight. Now Aguchi answers with a three. Great job of working from the inside out. And we've got a technical. It's going to go against the Drake bench. Mike Phillips may have said some of the magic words because Paul Jansen just teed him up. From across the court. It wasn't the official in front of the bench. As you said, Mark Jansen from across the court at midcourt. And if you, you read lips there, Mark Phelps, was, he, he just asked why he hasn't been calling traveling. And so. I, I, I'm going to take a wild guess here, Kurt, that that was a follow-up to possibly some comments or a conversation that had happened earlier yeah, had to, with Paul Jansen. Because there's no way anybody's got that short of a fuse. That, that technical was called as the ball was being walked up the floor. And, and that, that, that's a costly technical because Drake had possession. Not only do the birds get the free throws, they'll, they'll now take possession of the ball and Drake will lose it without ever a shot attempt coming. And that'll happen when we come back. 15-13 to go here in regulation. Redbirds 36, Bulldogs 28. Happy New Year. Our goal is Honda in every garage. Stop by Brad Barker Honda in Bloomington. Honda just opened a new plant building Civic there. Reliable and fun to drive. All Hondas are New Year priced. Better hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honda fans has fleets along with low rates and extended terms. Honda certified use the Cords, Pilots, Auto Seat, Civic, and CRD. Other makes have car fast reports too. Happy New Year. Our goal, a Honda in every garage. Stop by Brad Barker Honda in Bloomington. Yeah, 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 Products don't know how to find customers, but Comcast Spotlight does, with a mix of on-air, online, and on-demand advertising. You can reach your customers wherever they are. Julie, look what's new at McDonald's. You can get a quality ice mocha and a caramel latte. Or a vanilla cappuccino, all your favorite flavors, including hazelnut at great prices. Get breakfast, lunch, or dinner, plus your favorite specialty coffee with only one stop. Quality, value, and McDonald's speedy service. There you go. Thanks. Can I have mine with a lot of whipped cream? You don't need a lot, Bob. Okay, just a little, Jules. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. Three times this year, Champ Gucci has scored 20 or more points in the game. Now you can make it four because that three gives him 20 on the night. He's doing the bulk of his damage, Bob, from the three-point arch, six of 11 from three-point land there tonight. Well, the birds are doing a great job of moving the ball. They're going perimeter to perimeter, then they're kicking it inside, then back outside. And the proof in the pudding is that the birds already, with 15, 13 remaining in the game, have 10 assists already out of their 13 field goals that they've made. They've got 10 assists. That is terrific ball movement and creating open shots for the appropriate people. And so Aguchi now goes to the free throw line to shoot. The and so Aguchi now goes to the free throw line to shoot the technical fouls. And again, as you mentioned, the Redbirds will not only get the foul shots but get the basketball. Now that might be a uh, you know a mark in the game to, to watch for at 15 13 drake was down eight that and had the ball and you know what i was wrong you know what you're right i stand corrected so do i yeah i apologize it's drake's basketball after the foul shots i apologize well we both got that one wrong well, that was an old school mentality i had <laughs> a 10 point illinois state lead here's young penetrates and kicks out to stanley Hall down the lane, scooped it up, and rolled it in. And again, John Michael Hall continues to play solid minutes off the Drake bench. Well, that right there was probably about as aggressive as I've seen Duke in attacking out of that traditional weave they run against a man. That would be Drake. If, if Illinois State was playing Duke oh, tonight, that would really be something, <laughs> wouldn't it? I, I've seen Duke do it a lot. Just got to catch you on that. Oh, it's going to be waved off. A travel violation. Wow. 
be an interesting view to see. Thank goodness our guys in the truck are good. My goodness, they're outstanding. Look at this drive. I didn't really see a travel right there. Let everybody have their own opinion as they watch the replay. Young, deep three. You got it. If you don't get a hand on him, he'll knock it down. Once again, I mean, that's from a distance that wasn't even being honored. Osiris was, had the assignment. It was guarding him, and he could... Nobody shoots from that far. He was 27, 28 feet away. Two trips down the floor, and Drake has cut a 10-point deficit into a 5-point deficit, and now a steal. Phillips' pass was picked off by Stanley. Here's Parker. He tried to slip the pass underneath, and it's picked off by the Redbirds. Diacosa gets it up now to Osiris Eldridge. O's left open. Thought about the three. Pull up inside the three-point line. He missed it, but it's laid in by Odia Kosa. Demas, Demas just been a horse for the birds inside tonight. He's cleaning up in a lot of different ways. Look at this mismatch. Sam Kay is guarding Craig Stanley. Now they switched yeah. out. Yeah, that Lloyd Phillips talks him off of it. There's a three miss by Hall. Offensive rebound for the Bulldogs. On the floor is Parker. He called timeout. So this will be a 30-second timeout used by the Bulldogs to save themselves from another turnover. Tim Jankovic is at half court, wondering why that wasn't some sort of a, a travel violation. I, I, what I don't understand. See, I agree. He went up. He secured the rebound. And when he came down, he moved both feet. And he rolled to one side. And then he came and rolled over. That's traveling. I guess the whole key there is at what point did he call timeout, you know, which we don't have the advantage of. Uh, well, once you slip and fall after you secure the rebound, typically that call goes as a travel. Now, I made a comment to you off the air after the technical. I said it'll be, I'll be curious to see how the officiating goes from this point on. Sometimes after a technical, you can see a change in the temperament of the officials one way or the other, and it'll be interesting as this game continues to watch how that develops. Odia Kosa left the game, Holloway in, and we've got a foul against the Bulldogs before Drake can even inbound it. I believe that's on Young, and it would be his third if it is. It is. Great job by Osiris Eldridge fending off the ball that time. And you're right. A guy like Josh Young is one of those guys who rarely gets himself into foul trouble. He played the first four games this season without even being whistled for one foul. So for him to have three fouls with better than 13 minutes to go in this basketball game is, is rare. It may be another month before he gets in <laughs> another one. Here's Holloway. Penetration again. Had his pocket picked. Loose ball picked up by Sam Pay. Now set on the clock. Here's Champ again. Missed the three. Tipped around, and it's going to be Drake Ball. Paul did a nice job of saving it. Back on the floor is Young. He gives up the shot. It's Cox. Uh, travel. No, not a travel. It's going to be a foul against Illinois State. Yep. As you close out on shooters, you can't rush at them because then you, you have no ability to regain your balance and move laterally. The shot fake, as we see right here, see Brandon Sampe attacks him, and he grabs with his arm, yep. and he gets part of the jersey. That's going to be a foul every time. Here's Parker, pull-up jumper, that's good. Nice looking shot right there. Josh Parker off the bench, scoring nearly 11 points a game for the Bulldogs. What a weapon he is coming off that bench. Yeah, it is. Every, every good team has somebody that's a, that's a fire plug off the bench like that. Played his high school basketball at Thornton High, suburban Chicago. Finger roll will go in that time for Aguchi. And that's where knocking down those three-point shots will come into effect because when you're hot from the outside, if they uh, come up to you, you can drive around them and score. Well, we've seen Champ have some success, and we've seen Holloway have success taking the ball to the bucket. And now another three, this time Josh Parker from about the same spot on the floor where just a moment ago Josh Young knocked down a three. Boy, it, 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 you just can't ever get distance between you and, and Drake because they just keep draining the three. They never quit shooting. Tim Jankovic said last year he thought, in all his years of coaching, Drake was the best shooting team he's ever seen. As Emmanuel Holloway had answers with a three, and now the Bulldogs quickly back up the floor as Osiris Eldridge stepped in the passing lane and came away 
with a near steal that time. But the ball is out of bounds. The Bulldogs will have it, but the Redbirds have a seven-point lead with 11.26 to go here at Redbird Arena. Schooners is what comes to mind when you say neighborhood bar and grill. Independently owned and operated, Schooners opened its doors in 1983. Schooners has been a neighborhood tradition, serving delicious foods like beer battered chicken, buffalo wings, the Schooner Burger, fresh garden salads and homemade soups, the famous King Tenderloin, and try our new mini tenderloin platter. Schooners offers blue plate specials every weekday from 11 to 2 featuring homemade items. Come on in and let me fix something fresh for you today. Taste the local flavor at Schooners, 829-6841. Products don't know how to find customers, but Comcast Spotlight does, with a mix of on-air, online, and on-demand advertising. You can reach your customers wherever they are. Looking for a way to get in shape without breaking the bank? Try Illinois State University Recreation Services. Whether you're a student or a community member, we offer a variety of membership options and programs to fit your wallet and your lifestyle. Personal training, group fitness, racquetball, basketball courts and track, plus much more. Fit in something new and get active for less with Illinois State University Recreation Services. For more information, call 438-PLAY. Visit our website or come see us at the corner of Beach and Willow in Normal. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. Emmanuel Holloway has struggled from the three-point line in the last three games. In fact, he hadn't had a three-point make in the last three games. But that's his first one of the night. And that's a good sign for Illinois State. Yeah, it was. No question. They got themselves a good little, little spurt out of him right there. And once again, good ball movement. They swung it around. Found the open man. Knocked it down. Birds have been doing a great job, I think, of displaying patience on the offensive end. Not pulling the trigger too quickly. Using the inside-outside game. Using the perimeter swing. They've done a good job to get good shots. To complete our thought on... Drake, uh, we mentioned that last year, Tim Jankovic, you know, all of his years of watching college basketball, coaching all over the place, he said they were the best shooting team he's ever seen. When Mark Phelps, the new coach, came on board, he had ideas of kind of changing their offense, changing things around, and after a couple of weeks of practice, the players met, and they said, you know what, coach, we can shoot threes like that from Jonathan Cox. Why don't we just kind of keep the same offensive game plan? And you, he did. You know what? I, I really respect him for, for doing that and saying, you know what, guys, you're right. Hard to argue it's a success you've had. He put his own ego on the shelf and, li and listened to some of these upperclassmen and, and what they wanted. And I think, you know, that's, a, that's showing really respect, a lot of respect for your players right there. And, they, and therefore, they respect him. And things of the transition to a new coach has gone very smoothly this year. Here's Holloway again, penetrating, can't get it. Sam Pay offensive rebound and shoots it. He can't get it. And the ball is still loose and tipped around and cleared by Drake's Adam Templeton. And now the ball is still loose and, and finally tracked down by the Bulldogs. We've got a whistle, and it's going to be against who? Inverted, maybe? I think they're calling a technical on Emmanuel Holloway. Well, Jerry Pollard walked clear over to the scorer's table. They weren't pointing at anybody, but it looks like you're right. It looks like there was a bit of a technical foul called because Josh Young, who's a terrific foul shooter, is walking to the free throw line. And that's the case. Now, who's it against? You may have to listen for the announcement here. There had been a flurry under the basket on the ensuing rebound. Matthew Holloway had been involved in that flurry, which there wasn't any, any roughness involved. It was just a mad scramble for the ball, and it ensued all the way out to practically mid-court that Emmanuel was chasing it down. And next thing we know, there's a whistle blown and a tee. Well, it is on Holloway, so now he's got 30 uh, personals against him. And Josh Young, who rarely ever misses a free throw, knocks down both the technicals, and guess what? The Bulldogs are within two. A three-point mate gives them the lead. Backdoor play picked off by Sam Pei. Great defense once again. Picks up the birds, give them a spark plug. If they can get a shot down here, they can get a shot down here. That's really a, a plus. Because you take away where they never get a chance to shoot the ball and then come back and burn them with a, with a bucket. It really is a momentum builder. 
Well, the second half, the pace of the second half is really what we thought we would see the entire game. Yes, it, it is, no question. Catch and shoot, three from Chambaguchi, can't get it. Osiris Elders there to clean up. Now, like you talked about earlier, Kirk, there's so many ways you can contribute if you're not shooting the ball well. And right there was one of the best examples from Osiris Eldridge. Go Stand get an with. offensive rebound. And Stanley answers. He worked his way down. He took Alex Rubin all the way to the basket. Stanley's an impressive first-year player in the, in, the, in the league this year. That's a tough matchup for Alex Rubin, that's for sure. Now Rubin works on Parker. Here's Holloway. Under nine and a half to go here. Good basketball game. Illinois State 47, Drake 45. Kurt Pegler, Bob Morris with you. And we've got a violation. Evidently, Osiris Eldridge stepped on the uh, end line there, or stepped on the baseline, sideline. He's, yeah, he did. As he caught the ball, his drop step was on the sideline. And so the Bulldogs, who were once down by double digits, they were down 10. Again, have a chance to either tie it with a two or a three, give them the lead. And a steal by Holloway. He anticipated the pass on Parker. Spins, shoots, and drew a foul. Templeton is guilty of it. I think maybe that technical they assessed at Banyo kind of juiced him up because that was high level of energy right there. He displayed on the steal. And we see right here on, the, on, on your screen, you see the steal. And here he is going down under control where he can take the spin, draws the foul. Phillips is going to come back in and send Rubin back to the Redbird bench. Split the foul shots, and now Siad Odzik comes in. He will send Holloway to the bench for a quick breather. And the Redbird lead is three. Now we're going to see Josh Young. He was just out momentarily. He got his wind back. He's in. Adam Templeton out. Just so, under nine to go, Kurt. Three-point ball game. This is kind of what we anticipated it being from the onset. No doubt about it. Here's Parker working on Odzik. Pull up three is good, and we are tied. So they just they beat you off the dribble, then you get then then you back off so they can't, then they shoot the three. They, and they've got a variety of people, just like their last year's squad, that can do those very things to you. Parker with a pair of threes here in the second half. Give him eight points. And Drake has found its stroke now from the outside. Inside go the Redbirds. Sam Pay, pump fake, hang fire, missed it off the glass. Boy, he got James Kirk on the air but couldn't finish. He did everything but finish. He had every, had the fundamentals down. He just didn't, didn't get her to go. Now here's Parker. Young, down the lane. Floater, missed it. Tipped around, controlled by Aguchi. Under eight minutes to go. Good Missouri Valley Conference basketball here at Redbird. Oh my. Look at the move by Eldridge. Oh my. Osiris Eldridge just did a Barry Sanders-like juke on the baseline. He left his defender in the dust, and he drew contact. He's going to get a couple of foul shots out of it, and it'll happen when they come back. Look at the move by Osiris Eldridge. He's rewarded with a couple of free throws, and the Redbirds and the Bulldogs are tied at 48 with 7.42 to go. Wait, turn that trash into cash. Recycling aluminum cans is good for the environment and a great way to earn some extra money. The Morris Tick Recycling Center is Central Illinois' place to recycle aluminum cans as well as other metals, including iron, brass, copper, aluminum, and stainless. Whether you want to make money for your organization, church, or school, or need some extra cash to feed the gas pump, recycling is the way to go green. Wednesdays, seniors 55 and older receive 5 cents over the face price for aluminum cans. The Morris Tick Company, recycling since 1898. Call 309-828-6084 for more information. CyberKnife technology, focused radiation beams that destroy tumors of the brain, lung, liver, spine, and other areas. 
without surgery. The Cyber Knife Service at the Community Cancer Center, giving patients new hope. Happy New Year! Our goal, a Honda in every garage. That's my Brad Barker Honda. And Bloomington! Honda just opened a new plant building Civic. They are reliable and fun to drive. All Hondas are New Year priced. Better hurry. <laughs> Honda Finance has fleets along with low rates and extended terms. Honda certified used Accords, Pilots, Odyssey, Civic, and CRD. Other makes have car factory ports too. Happy New Year! Our goal, a Honda in every garage. Stop by Brad Barker Honda in Bloomington. <laughs> Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. 7.42 to go here at Redbird Arena. It's Illinois State 48 and Drake 48. Kirk Pegler and Bob Morris with you here on Comcast. The Bulldogs trying to win here at Redbird Arena and stay tied atop the Missouri Valley Conference standings with 5-1 and one Bradley and 5-1 and one Northern Iowa. Illinois State would like a win to stay within a game of the front running Braves and Panthers. And they would also snap a little bit of a losing streak they've had against the Bulldogs, who have won four of the last five games in this meeting between two teams. Well, if you're gonna be a, a championship contender in this league, you've gotta, you've gotta hold serve at home. And, and the Birds realize that. This, this is a big game for a lot of reasons for the Redbirds. The Redbirds have been dying to get back home after winning 14 in a row to start the season. And this last road trip, they lost in Peoria and in Terre Haute. And uh, hopefully a little home cooking and get them going back in the right direction. At least that's what they thought. Osiris Eldridge missed both free throws. Well, I think, again, you're seeing that Osiris is still feeling some of the effects of, of the illness that he had with the flu over the weekend. And it just has, he hasn't shaken it yet to all aspects. That's because his legs are just not what they, they should be. Here's Jonathan Cox with the baseline. Gets it out to Parker. Pump fake. Now it's to Cox. He thought about the three. Thought better of it though. Worked him way to the outside. Eight on the shot clock. Five to shoot. Penetrating. Kick out. Open three again. Parker missed it. Cox offensive rebound. Flipped it in. He was falling out of bounds. And right place, right time for Aguchi. It's going to be Osiris Eldridge for a three. Just when I tell you that he hasn't got his leg, boom, he knocks down a huge three-pointer. Don't make the unguarded foul shots. Hit the three with somebody flying at you, right? Yeah, that, that's typical, isn't it? Not for the average athlete. A tough shot again for John Michael Hall. He has played terrifically tonight for Drake. Boy, he has. He's been a real push for them. They, they come at you with so many different people. Why am I getting a feeling it's going to be the last possession? That's right. Eight points for Hall now. Again, he averages just two and a half a game. Magucci may have been bumped, but no call. Oh, my. And now Hall comes away with it. <laughs> the Redbirds with a one-point lead. Drake with a basketball. Oh, my. I mean, how, how do you not see something like that when it's the shooter? Down the lane, the floater is up and in by Stanley and the lead back for the State Bulldogs. Stanley with eight. This one's shaping up for a fantastic finish. Odiakosa, been relatively quiet here in the second half. Oh, he's gonna try another three. What a time for him to find his stroke. Wow. I didn't think it was going to be there. And he just keeps coming back. He's in double digits now with 11. The Redbird lead is 54-52. Fans wanted an over and back at the timeline. Cox answers from the corner. And talks to the crowd. He's responding to the student section. He's going to have a fan club when he leaves tonight. You gotta love Kyle. Oh, yeah, this is just a hurt. shootout now. Phillips left open. His open jumper is no good. And he goes down. Cox comes down with it. Quickly up the floor comes Stanley now. Bulldogs trying to take advantage. Redbirds gotta keep their composure. They can't get frustrated. Even though the crowd is. Here's Stanley on the breakdown. The foul's gonna go against Phillips. He's now, got a great first step. He does. 
and, and there is no question that that was a foul. But it's an open court foul, and you see the bump. When you when, when fans and coaches and players get frustrated, as we see the replay, and there's no doubt about the bump, it's when shooters get bumped that we had just two possessions ago in the, when the Redbirds had the bump that there's a no call. That's when people get irritated in the, the lack of consistency by, by the officiating. Josh Young is back in the game for Drake. And a steal by Phillips. He reached in to pick the pocket of Parker, who then fouled him. Good steal right there. Good help side defense. Pushing the ball up the floor. Draws the foul. Those are all nice and good, but you got to finish them off by knocking down free throws in close ball games. This game is eerily similar to last year's, isn't it here? I mean, both games actually against Drake, hard fought competitive games. Redbirds out to double digit leads in both of those contests, only to see the Bulldogs rally. Redbirds had a double digit lead here. They're trying to hold off the Bulldogs from rallying this time. Well, the Birds are gonna have to show some, show some real grit on the defensive end. They, they've been doing a very respectable job. Both teams have played good defense. This is just a whale of a college basketball game. Four minutes left in this one. One point Redbird lead. Snap the pass down and lay in that time for Ed Templeton. Boy, there's there's two players that are on the same page. Champa Gucci showed hope on a, on a cutter. And as soon as he did, boy, the pass zipped right by his ear and for the open lay-in. Templeton with 12 points now. It's one off his career high. Here's Phillips down the lane. He slipped the pass down to Odiacosa. He's fouled by Cox. We've got a timeout on the floor. 3.34 to go in a very entertaining college basketball game. Odia Costa to the free throw line when we come back. Bulldogs lead the Redbirds by a point, 57-56. For over 60 years, Van Gundy Insurance has been building solid partnerships in Central Illinois by providing business insurance, workers' compensation, and employee benefits. Work with an independent agency who understands your need to have the correct coverage at a competitive price, and then insure with confidence at the Van Gundy Agency. Visit our enhanced website at vangundy.com to discover how Van Gundy Agency can meet your insurance needs. Our goal is to promote a natural and spiritual balance in the Christian life. So we invite you to join us at our Sunday worship service beginning at 1045 a.m. Come to Center for Hope Ministries and watch God's Word change your life. Since 1967, Quality Truck Equipment is Bloomington Normal's only truck equipment upfitter. Quality Truck handles the highest quality truck bodies available, from dump trucks to service vehicles and everything in between. Let quality truck equipment professionals design and install a truck body tailored to your needs. Not only will we save you money up front, our higher quality bodies will far outlast cookie cutter bodies found on car lots. Quality Truck Equipment, conveniently located at 1201 Bell Street in Bloomington. Brought to you by Broman Healthcare. 3.34 to go here at Redbird Arena where Illinois State trails Drake 57 56. The way the Bulldogs play from behind, Bob, they could just spot their opponent a 12-point lead and then say, we'll start from here. They seem to play better when they're behind. Well, that's when they turn it on. And, and you know what that is, Kurt? That, that's a sign of a champion. That's why they won the, the, the regular season last year and they won the Valley Tournament last year. Because they accept the challenge in the second half when they're down. They don't roll over. They keep fighting and they turn it up a notch. They really believe in themselves and their system that they're playing within. Well, both teams have really stepped it up here in the second half. It was a 23-19 game at the half. Illinois State with a four-point lead. Now it's 57-56 Drake. So both teams have, have uh, flushed out whatever offensive woes they had in the opening half. Dima Oyakosa knocks down the first free throw and it and continues to have just a wonderful evening. 
in every aspect of the game. That one rolls in. He's staring down a double-double now. He's got 10 points and nine rebounds. Nice night for Odiaposa. And Redbirds to a one-point advantage. Here's Young to the baseline. Skip out pass. Parker hangs, fires, short, rebound to Gucci. Great defensive sequence right there. Everything that you would want to have done on defense took place right there. Finished off with a strong two-handed rebound. We've talked a lot about Iguchi's 24 points, but he also has eight rebounds tonight. Awesome night. Here's Odia Kosa. With He's going to back him. him down. All the way down. Hands it to a cutting Holloway. Great recognition by Dima to find the open cutter. Templeton came over to double team. Holloway was left open. The Redbirds have a three point lead. Timeout three. The crowd is going crazy in Redbird Arena, Kurt. Now here's a look at that last sequence with Odia Kosa. coming down the baseline. His man left him. Again, that was Templeton. He came over on the weak side to help out on the double team on Odiacosa, and it was Holloway the beneficiary. Well, when you double on somebody and the offense is moving, as Holloway did right there, then you've got chances then when there's two people guarding you to find the open man. Holloway took advantage of the open lane, reversed it, made a nice play, put the birds up three. Young. Stanley, Parker, Templeton, the five on the floor for Drake. Phillips, Odiacosa, Aguchi, Eldridge, and Holloway, the quintet for Illinois State. Under two and a half to go. Redbirds by three. Drake with a basketball. Stanley was stripped, but he was fouled. That's going to go against Phillips. Of which, I don't know which he thought he fouled him. Second foul against Phillips. Fifth we'll see the replay the here. Let's let the viewers take a look. Ooh. Ooh, a lot of leather on that slap. That's, that's a good shot right there. He had backspin on it. It hit the front of the rim, and that pulls it in every time. Nice touch. This young man was a great addition to this ball club. I agree. In the loss of Adam Amateur, he was the perfect find to bring in as a Juco point guard to replace him with this system. Well, Stanley has been a very good barometer for the Bulldogs this year. They are 7-0 and in games in which he scores in double digits, and he just went over the 10-point mark. He's now got 11 for the game. So the Redbirds would like to become the first team to beat Drake on a night when he's in double figures. We approach the two-minute mark left in this one. Holloway looking inside. He's guarded by Young. 14 on the shot clock. Under two minutes to go. A lot of patience being displayed by the Redbird. Eight to shoot. Phillips penetrates. Kick out now. Oguchi lost the dribble. Pump fake. Forced up three. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Ball out of bounds off of Josh Young, it looks like. That's the case. Yeah, it was. But there's only two seconds left on the shot clock in this offensive set. Redbirds got themselves caught in a position right in front of their bench. And Aguchi kind of had to create a shot there. See if Tim Jankovic calls timeout here. He's going to call timeout. It'll be interesting to see what they draw with two seconds on the clock. See if there's anything that kind of leads to a lob of some nature in the middle. And you don't have a lot of time to get the ball in on the perimeter and do anything with it other than catch maybe one dribble and a shot. Well, there's a lot to be said about confidence, and we talked about Adam Emenaker, who graduated as the uh, the player of the year, and people thought, well, Drake certainly can't be as good as they were last year. They went to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1971, and they won 28 games, and they lost Keno Davis. He went to the Big East. 
But they certainly have shown that they have brought some of that confidence from last year with them this year by winning 13 of their first 17 games. And it's a dogfight every night that you play the Bulldogs, and they've come in here in Redbird Arena and really given Illinois State a battle. They have the mentality of a champion. There's no question about that. They are a tough team. Pump fake. Now Oguchi off the inbounds. Shot never hit the rim. And so it's a shot clock violation. And now coming back in the game for Drake is Josh Parker. He'll come in, and he will send who to the bench? He will send Heemskirk to the bench. So now the Bulldogs with a chance to shoot for the lead. The Redbirds back on D now. Typical spread. Offense with the weed, probing. Young, protected, missed the shot, drew the foul though. He was protecting his right hand as he worked on Eldridge and he drew contact and the foul. And again, every time this guy goes to the free throw line, it's like getting two because he shoots it at 90% from the foul line. Yeah, that's like giving him two points when he goes to the line. He's leading the conference and understandably so, shooting 90%. Earlier this year, he made a school record 32 consecutive free throws. He's a, he's a special. He's a special player for the Missouri Valley. Last year, remember, at the game here at Redbird Arena, he had one point in the first half and then 17 in the second half and helped the Bulldogs to win. Now, Illinois State is hoping for a similar.